It's Lexus like the car. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Mom. Um, <laughs> so I know most of you, but I am um, actually going to be done with my master's program after this eight weeks. So I'm so excited. Wow. Yeah. I'll have my master's in ministerial leadership on, on April 28th, and I'm excited. And so um, there's a lot of transition going on. There's a lot of transition going on in life right now, and I know that... Um, when we we're all in like different places and different seasons of life and I know for me right now I'm getting ready to graduate I'm getting ready my arrow is being pulled back I'm getting ready to launch out into the world and do what the Lord's called me to do and he's directing me and he's giving me vision and he's directing my path and I feel that but one of the things that um that the Lord is teaching me right now of what can get in the way of us reaching the destination and reaching the promised land that he has for us is a lack in allowing our minds to be transformed. Mm -hmm. So if we are going to, um, to reach the promises, to, to embrace the promises that God has for us, our minds have to be renewed. So when transitions occur, and they can be scary because there's so much unknown, and anything that's unknown and anything that's unfamiliar, we just want to like shrink back and like, ah, you can have that. I don't really know about that. I'm just going to stay over here. Um, transitions can be really scary. But the Bible says that the just shall live by faith. And faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. So no matter if you can't even see it, you don't depend on what you can see. You depend on the, the Holy Spirit leading you and guiding you. You lean on that peace to continue moving forward and reaching the destination that God has set before you. But if we're going to walk by faith and not depend on sight, our minds have to be transformed. And so in Romans 12.2, it talks about being transformed. Um, it says, do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then, then you'll be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. So every transition requires another level of mind renewal. So whatever transition that you're experiencing in your life right now, you're going to have to reach up to another level of allowing your mind to be renewed into a kingdom mindset. It's literally out of this world, right? And so that reminds me of one of my most favorite stories in the Bible. I love Moses. I love the story of Moses of when he brings the Israelites out of Egypt, and then they're going out, and all this stuff is happening to Pharaoh, and then they part, God parts the Red Sea, and they walk on dry land, and then behind them, you know, all, the, all of them and the carriages are just whoosh, washed out and they're killed, right? And it's awesome, it's amazing, it's so cool. The Bible's not boring, right? And, but the part of all of that story, of that journey, of all of that, you know, what was that transition that was happening in the lives of the Israelites, I want to fast forward um, into when they were getting ready to, um, to walk into the promised land. All right? And so I want to pick up in Numbers 14. Um, and so to give a little bit of background, the Israelites are refusing to enter into Canaan. They're refusing to enter into the Promised Land. They were like, you know what? Moses and Aaron, I'm not really about this right now. I think we need to go back to Egypt. That's familiar. And it was awesome. You know, the idea, I like the idea of what the destination was going to be when I was at home. And I like, you know, it was cool walking on the dry land. It was, that was really cool and everything, but I'm, I'm not really, I'm not really feeling this. It's really, all this transition, it's really scary. And their minds were still in Egypt. And so as the transition was taking place, they weren't allowing their mind to be transformed as they continued on the journey. But you have Joshua and you have Caleb. And what happened? They went into the promised land. Or they went to the promised land with other um, <coughs> spies. They scattered it out. And they're like, we are more than conquerors. We can do this. Like, God has given us this land. There's giants in there, but we are well able to overcome them. God has their smoke and honey over there. Come on. Let's do this. And so um, I'm going to pick it up and read it here. Um, Numbers 14, verse 6. Um, but Joshua, the son of Nun, and Caleb, the son of 
Japhan, who were among those who had spied out the land, tore their clothes. And they spoke to all the congregation of the children of Israel, saying, The land we pass through um, um, to spy out is exceedingly good land. If the Lord delights in us, then he will bring us into this land and give it to us, a land that which flows with milk and honey. Only do not rebel against the Lord, nor fear the people of the land, for they are bred. Their protection has departed from them, and the Lord is with us. Do not fear. And I just imagine them just, because just come with me, bear with me here as I, as I begin to wrap up. But when we're in the midst of transition and, and our minds are being transformed, just pretend like I'm Caleb and, and, and this is the promised land before them because my mind is renewed, I'm not moving forward with timidity and with insecurity because I know that God has already given me the promised land. And even though there's giants, I know that the God, my God has already gone before me. So I'm moving forward in the midst of this transition to get to my destination. And I'm speaking the word of God over my life. And I'm saying each step, I'm declaring scripture. I'm declaring truth. God did not give me a spirit of fear, but of power and love and a sound mind. And I'm beginning to declare and declare it until I believe it. And I'm, I'm declaring scripture. The just shall live by faith. And I depend on faith and not by not by sight. And so if in the midst of all of our transitions, and if we're going to receive the promises that the Lord has for us and they belong to us, we don't have to settle for the things that were bringing destruction to us in Egypt, but we can have hope in the midst of the transitions um, if we allow our minds to be transformed. So as I wrap up, I just want to challenge us all to... Um, be reminded that every promise that God has given us is yes and amen. And he has equipped us, he is with us, and he is for us. And um, allow our minds to be transformed. Amen. amen.